In regards to the special session, uh, we're looking at it. I wouldn't say that the door's been shut. We're very open to it. Um, but we just want to make sure that the votes are there to exist to, to pass this. We, as, if, you, if you remember, we passed a SunRail provision which created uh, commuter rail in the Orlando area. We know that the federal government is also asking us to address the tri-rail situation. So basically what the feds are saying is if we're going to invest $3 billion, $2.5 to $3 billion in your state on high-speed rail, we want to make sure that when people get to the ends of those points that there's places for them to go and a mass transit system to get them around. It's a very fair question to ask. And so my thought is, if we do have a special session, we should address those two issues. We should make sure that they're on the forefront of our agenda, and we should go after those two and a half and three billion dollars because high-speed rail really would be a game changer for the state of Florida as far as competing with other states. Is the federal government asking for any fiscal commitment on the part of the state in order to qualify for these federal funds? I don't think they're asking for a fiscal commitment. There is some question as to the operating dollars. So, for example, if they come down and build it, the question then becomes who's going to operate it and pay for the operating. Um, that could be a combination of the federal government and the state government. It could be just the state. Those are some details that have to be worked out. As far as them giving us an ultimatum and a dollar figure, that hasn't been thrown out yet, but I wouldn't say that it couldn't come in the future.